was like being blindsided to my, my breast cancer journey. Um, I went in for my routine mammogram and this was back in 1999 and uh, kind of sallied in and sallied out and figured that was it. But the next day I had a phone call and then the next day I was into my doctor's office and then the, you know, the fourth day I was at the surgeon's. It was right at the time when Wayne Gretzky was retiring. I remember just before I went under, the, there was one of the nurses says, how are you feeling about this, Charlene? I said, well, I sort of feel like Gretzky. I don't want to relinquish that sweater quite yet. <laughs> it's been uh, quite a journey, but I've um, come out the other side and feel very, very grateful. I'd love to tell you about my research. So I'm quite interested in patient outcomes. Cancer isn't just based on the disease site, breast or colon or pancreas. It's molecularly very busy. And so really trying to understand at a core cellular level what's going on and how to stop that or reverse it, I think is what we need. And then from there, taking that into clinical steps forward. Research is the key definitely to getting the answers on all levels. So research at a basic science level, research in terms of helping survivors move on, in terms of getting women to that survivorship state. Research in all those areas is critical. I got involved with the Canadian Breast Cancer Foundation because I lost my mom about 12 and a half years ago to breast cancer. I think breast cancer research is so important because I've witnessed it firsthand. My mom was one of the first women to be on the Herceptin trial and that prolonged her life. I hope for my daughter for the future that research continues because that is how we are going to move forward. So my work is primarily to find the causes of various kinds of cancer, in particular breast cancer. Uh, my work uh, has concentrated on environmental and occupational causes. Although environment and occupation only account for a small percentage of breast cancers, it's really quite important because these are exposures that can be modified and reduced. We really need to continue supporting breast cancer research because there's a lot we don't know about what causes breast cancer and how to prevent it. It's always incremental steps, it's not big jumps, but every step leads us closer to the goal. The advantage of funding researchers here in BC is that the benefits of the research get to the public much quicker. We're really training the next generation of researchers. The young researchers that are being mentored, as well as the students that are working on the project, are developing the skills that they need to go forward and conduct research in the future. I was diagnosed when I was in my 20s, and so I'm a testament to the fact that it happened when you're very young. I think about the treatment that I've received and it was specifically tailored to my cancer and if without that research that wouldn't have been possible. I think that going through this journey um, has been difficult but the silver lining is that you realize how precious life is. Uh, I would encourage the people in the audience to fund cancer research because it makes such a huge difference to people like me who love their families, who have kids, who want to contribute to the society and the community around them. My sister Sneha, uh, she was a beautiful human being. It is so important that we fund breast cancer research. My sister always used to say that she would not have lived as long as she did if there were not as many treatments out there. While the doctors thought she was going to live for two years, um, she actually survived for four years, so she had four years to spend with her daughter um, before uh, she passed away when my niece was five years old. I'm a researcher at the University of British Columbia. I'm a researcher at the BC Cancer Research Centre. My project is focused on investigating how high-risk aggressive breast cancer subtypes mutate and evolve over time. The ultimate goal of my project is making improved platforms for the early stages of testing cancer treatments. The deciding point for me was uh, when I was seeing a patient with brain metastases as a medical student. When he found out that there were no treatment options available, he just smiled at me and said, 
So all I can do is wait to die. And that was it. That's when I knew that uh, there are no cures without research and that cancer research is the only way for me to move forward in the field. Ever since I was little, I've dreamed of being able to contribute to cancer research. My father actually lost his mother to breast cancer when he was only 15 years old. She was a nurse, and even though I never met her, he told me as I was growing up of her um, strength and her courage during her, her eight-year fight with the disease, as well as of her desire to help other people. Um, and so I consider myself extremely lucky as an engineer to be able to work on my project. Breast cancer research has saved lives. In Canada, breast cancer deaths among women have reduced by 42% in the last 30 years. But still, one in nine women in Canada would develop breast cancer. Therefore, research is the only way to discover new cures. Um, what's been amazing for me to see over the last 10 to 12 years is how far we have come. And we've got there through raising funds and putting those funds through to research, early detection, prevention and education. You can make a difference to create a future without breast cancer. More progress is possible because of advances in research. We can't stop now.